For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Man. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. Church, the angel of the Lord and a multitude of the heavenly hosts, my goodness, being thousands and thousands of angels glorified God together. Thus, the question can be asked, who were they glorifying? I say they were glorifying the greatest king to be born, and his name is Jesus. Is anybody going to hear me today? Man. I'll be done in five minutes. Man. Amen. I didn't read to you last Sunday. You should be ready this Sunday. Amen. Amen. Somebody say, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm going to finish this thing. I'm tired of y'all. All right. I said, <laughs> How can I make such a solid and objective conclusion such as this? Well, because Isaiah, the son of Amos, the great prophet both of Judah and Jerusalem, well, okay. prophesied about the same great earthly event some 745 years earlier. In Isaiah chapter 9, verses 6 and 7, Isaiah told the people that walked in darkness that they now have seen a great light. Yes. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them have the light shine. In Isaiah 9 2, he spoke to these Jewish people through the prophetic voice of Jehovah God in heaven in verses 6 and 7 of the ninth chapter of Isaiah. These famous and ever glorious words are as such. For unto us a child is born. Yes. Unto us a son is given. He says, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. Yes. But I like so good Isaiah didn't stop him and he didn't let them think that it was about else's son. He says, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, he said, not only that, they're going to call him the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and justice from henceforth even forever. Then he said, the zeal of the Lord will perform it. Are you listening to me? My brothers and my sisters. The greatest king to be born is named Jesus. Yeah, right. It was a, a baby born in a manger who was wrapped in swaddling clothes. Yet he was still the king of Israel. Yeah. And he will be the king of kings and the Lord of lords when he come back to reign on the throne of David. In the city of Jerusalem, in the great hill called Mount Zion. See, Jesus was born. Yes, he was. But I'm so glad Jesus died. But I'm glad that when the end of the story, Jesus was took off the cross and buried. Oh, yeah. But that when the end of the story, my friends, but early on the third day morning, y'all yeah. ain't gonna hear me. Yeah. One Sunday morning, yeah. over 2,000 years ago, the Father in heaven raised Jesus up from the grave. Yes. Then he was seen of Cephas, then the twelve. After that, he was seen of about 500 brethren at once. Yeah. See, church, he was seen for 40 days walking on earth. Then he went to the mountain called Olivet, where he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. But then the apostle John, in the book of Revelations, who was on it, out of Patmos, wrote and said, I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. So y'all ain't gonna hear me. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness he does judge and make war. Right. And then John wrote in conclusion, and he had on his vesture and on his thigh a name written King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Y'all ain't got no king around here can act like you know what I'm talking about. And there's a man named Jesus. But I'm so glad to know today he's not just married baby in the longer, but he's coming back as King of Kings. He's coming back as Lord of Lords. Because church, he's the greatest king yes. to be born who was ever born. One songwriter said he is king of kings. Yes. And he is 
the Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ, yes. first and last. Yes. Nobody works like him. In my mind, he's the greatest king to be born, and his name is Jesus. Yes. And if you don't know him, you will begin to know him. Because one day, soon and very soon, we're going to see the king. Yes. Am I right about it? Yes. Don't have to put on no red, no green, or no yellow. Just come as you are. Because the blood of Jesus has washed us clean. Am I right about it? I'm ready. If you call my name, somebody say, I'll be listening for my name. <laughs> I'm going up a young man to be with my Lord. I'm done now. I'm done. You all right? Okay, I'm done now. Go tell it. 